Hey, I'm Christian. Hey, I'm Kamal. I'm Ben. And we're hanging out with Rob at Front Row Live. We are Juice. You, yeah. You guys had me like bump in a show in my car on the drive here. Yeah. Like I was not expecting that. So thanks for doing that in the first place. Yeah, but l- let's talk about the new single, Dave. Uh, it's yeah. a little different from your previous stuff. Um, it's more lyricism as, inst- as as opposed to the instrumentals yeah, uh, yeah. on the previous work. What kind of inspired this track? Christian, you want to talk about it? Yeah. Um, so, well, there was one very specific experience that inspired it, and then there's sort of like a general feeling. But the experience we had was we were all in college trying to film a video, and this janitor at our school came up, and he busted into our video session. He was like, you kids, you're a thorn in the side of the institution. You're too loud. You know, there's someone downstairs trying to do, trying, trying to have a meeting. There's a girl crying, and you guys are interrupting. And so we, we were, we were kind of baffled by that, because we were just trying to make our video and do our music. But BC was a very, we, went, we all went to BC. It was a very, it wasn't yeah. a big, like, arts-friendly school. Not that they don't love the arts there. I'm not, right. trying, to, you know, I'm not trying to hate on BC. But we had that experience. And then we sort of realized that we had this general history of old dudes, old, you know, old, you know, stingy dudes trying to stop us from playing music and, you know, crusty. Yeah, no. So we, we sort of picked and we and we put the song together with a bunch of easter eggs a bunch of period easter eggs a bunch of a bunch of really cool references to different time periods in our lives and uh that's sort of where it came from so now i'm actually curious does he have does he have songwriter credits since he kind of gave those lyrics out to you i wish i had known the guy's name because i would have credit we would have credited him on the song but (laughs) he doesn't deserve royalties bro (laughs) he doesn't deserve it (laughs) So I mean, this, obviously this song was different from everything else. So because did it come different because of the type of story that you guys are trying to talk about? Well, so hip hop um, is is a is it, let's take it back for a second. We have a lot of genres, right? Yeah. In our sound, it's a, just a whole different soundscape um, from song to song, and it, and the narrative of each song sort of will dictate what genre we'd like to you know to further that that right. narrative so hip-hop is something that really allows us to tell a story um and and christian sort of goes off on this on this track and, and is able to really like do some cool stuff with that so i think hip-hop was like a, a very specific selection for this song that was also cool because you you're mainly focused on the violin right. um so this time you actually got to step in front of the yeah. of, of the whole band and like you know let us know how you how you kind of sing how you kind of rap how you got a freestyle so, you know, how was that for you, like, getting ready for this track, especially when you guys perform it live? I mean, it's really fun for me to perform. You know, I love to have a chance to be on the mic. I have a couple verses here and there and some of our older stuff. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I had so much fun just, you know, putting all these, putting some of the lyrics together, working with these guys, coming up with the story, and, you know, being able to step out and perform it is always such a cool experience. And it's cool to, like, have a hip-hop experience live because, you know, a hip-hop concert is such a such an experience. It's such a thing, and... and when you get to interact with our crowd in that way, it's 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 really cool. And it's a part of like all of our musical musical experiences, uh-huh. like coming up. Like we all really drew all of, a lot of influence from hip hop, so um, it's something we can all connect with. I like how there's you know there's seven there's seven of you in the band. There, you guys are each doing some kind of instrumentation. Um, so which you know. In the long run, you know, when you guys are actually performing live, like there's an actual live show. There's no backing tracks. Like there's a full performance. But when you guys get down together, all seven of you, and create these tracks, you know, how do you guys kind of create? Um, it's kind of um, it's a free flowing process. It usually starts with um, a jam session or a lyrical idea, and then we'll bring it to the rest of the guys and. We have a really unique chemistry where we're always actively listening to one another. Mm. We're always um, putting our own um, spin or perspective on, like like Ben was saying, hip hop or uh, jazz or rock, and um, it really comes together pretty organically, lyrically, um, instrumentally. Mm. So it's a really fun process. We're still like finding our our chemistry and our flow together, but it comes out as something really cool. Yeah. I like how you guys are kind of challenging you guys yourselves at the same time because there's not too many bands out there that can pull jazz and hip hop and and the kind of music that you guys are pulling. Um, maybe if anything, another band I can think of is a band called Combrio. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. Combrio. 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 You guys should check them out. They're from like up the Bay Area, but they oh, cool. they have like this whole kind of like saxophone like jazzy kind of feel but at the same time they have verses like yourselves but you know as you guys are creating as you guys created the new single um for me personally my favorite track that you guys have done is aubrey i'm like stuck on aubrey uh, so tell me about aubrey and what was the creative process behind that so the creative process behind audrey was um sort of a, a strive for us to 
get into a contemporary, more modern sound. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our older stuff, we're still very proud of it. You know, it's very special to our hearts. But right. uh, we really got in the studio and we we're like, all right, we're going to be relentless. We're going to find the soundscape that we want. We're going to try to tell this story that we want with like sounds and different colors, choosing different synths and instruments and really like dialing in background vocals and stuff like that. So we were really proud of like creating that sort of sonic narrative in that sense. So. I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah, no, I definitely do. Now, when you mentioned Sonic, uh, do you guys focus on the sounds before you guys focus on the lyrics? Um, does it vary between song? I think it totally varies between songs. I mean, the writing process, because there's so many of us, yeah. um, there's so many different ways you end up with the final product. And I think with Audrey, it's sort of, I think it was more a lyrical idea, and then that turned into this beautiful soundscape of, of, of sort of, you know, pop and rock and funk and, and sort of, I don't want to say funk, funk is sort of like a loaded word, but there's, there's disco and dance. Juice is kind of loaded, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean it works. But, uh, but yeah, no, I think the lyrics sort of gave way to the song in, in that case, but sometimes it's, it's totally about the music first and sometimes right. it's, sometimes we don't find the music for a while and we have a bunch of lyrics first, it really totally depends, yeah. so. Now tell me about those lyrics, uh, the falsetto. On that track, because what you know about that? Person? Ooh, <laughs> man, I had to like. Did he really do that? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, and honestly, like that that track when we were first working on the chorus, it started off in a lower octave. Yeah, and I was like, yo, this doesn't punch as hard. Like this isn't quite hitting where we need it to be. And you know, my voice has continued to change over the years. Actually, mm. like I, someone told me that like a male voice doesn't completely settle to your like thirty five or something oh, like that. So yeah, the falsetto is something that's sort of new to me. Uh -huh. That like through Audrey in particular, like has come to it's like almost you know uh, actualized sort of state i was like damn like i didn't know i could i could anyone i could do that right and so like that's an, just another another uh indication that these guys just push me you know and we, we push each other so it, it's, it's really cool so as he's like pushing his vocal range how does that kind of affect the instrumental process or the the writing for the instrumentals um, it makes it a lot more fun, especially yeah. since we're all growing together and we, you know, we went through a really formative period, to get period together, like as college kids. So, um, seeing Ben grow as a singer, um, Christian as a lyricist, rapper, violinist, it allows us to, um, try new ideas. It allows us to grow and it it's really, it's really challenging and it's really exciting because, um, you know the ceiling. The ceiling. We haven't seen it yet. So, in terms of what we can do, and, and they're and they're pretty tall, and they haven't seen the ceiling yet. <laughs> everyone, everyone says that. <laughs> so, what's next for you guys? You guys just dropped Dave. Um, you guys are currently on tour right now. So, what else can we expect for this new year? Well, we've got you know this. We're gonna finish this really long tour. We're going. You know, we started in Seattle. We're ending in Boston in April. So, three months, just shows, shows, shows. We've got. We recorded two. Uh, <laughs> We recorded two new singles in Nashville uh, recently, and they're they're in the vault. Um, we can't tell you when they're coming out, but they are coming. Yeah. Um, and we've got some big projects coming soon too. So I'm not gonna give you the specific <laughs> details, but uh, d d keep keep on the lookout. Cause now, now is, is there gonna be a writing session going on in San Diego, maybe for a week or two? Oh man, dude. We first of all, we're always writing. Sometimes <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit, but <laughs> like when you're on the road, your your emotional and physical yeah. energy is just getting sapped and pulled left and right. But right. like that's sometimes where like the coolest stuff happens. So San Diego, we're gonna be on the beach. We're gonna be eating tacos. <laughs> We're going to be soaking up the sun. We're just going to be like existing there and seeing what happens. So we're really excited. Sick. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Right. Congratulations with the new music. You guys be sure to check out Juice. New single, Dave, is out now. But also check out Audrey Tell Me. Audrey Tell me. Thanks for watching on Forever Live.